This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And today we are talking about salvaging the components of a spring form variety of hunting blind. Now these are available on the market. Uh, they are lightweight and they use internal springs to, well, self-inflate is not quite the right term, self-erect uh, a blind. And you take the springs and you twist them together and you wind up with a packet about two feet square and four inches thick. So this is a very lightweight system. And you take it out, you can backpack it, carry it in hand if you want, and put it out in the woods and you unpack it and you decide where you want it, and you boom, that was a bunk, 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 and it's there. Very simple system, very popular. Well, I bought one several years ago, and I've used it. Now, we had some problems with it. Uh, first off, with the first year's use, the color changes. This used to be a green camouflage pattern overprint. But when exposed to sunlight, it quickly turned to what you see now, which I don't know quite how to describe, really. Uh, but whatever it is, uh, the animals do get used to it in time. And hopefully you put it back under some natural cover so it doesn't look quite so outlandishly out of, out of place. Well, after using the blind, uh, I decided to leave it up in the woods, and that was a mistake. Uh, the sunlight caused this fabric to deteriorate to where at the top, where it had most sunlight exposure, it got so soft, I went out there to put it up and to fix it, but you could just poke your fingers through the fabric. My tent here in the pines looks like it could use some help. And yes, it can. Uh, there's a hole in the peak, which I'm going to patch. There's also all the stuff that's grown up around it. In the two years, actually, that it's been up. So all this is going to need to be cut away. So we'll first have to move that tent from where it is to where I can work on it. What we have learned in our tent here, the exterior fabric is so rotten it will not take thread. And in fact, you can poke through it just by pressing with your fingers. So I fear that this tent, uh, well, has passed almost all usefulness. Uh, the only thing salvageable about it are the zippers. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I can use zippers every once in a while. And the aluminum poles that help support the inside of the frame. Now, the spring steel stuff that actually supports the tent, ooh, I don't know what I can do with that. But uh, we're going to salvage it, and we will see. I may come up with some use of it yet. So obviously that was not possible. So we took it down and we are salvaging components from it. And this also gives you an interesting idea of how these blinds are made. First off, they use spring steel hooks. These are very flexible, as you see. And there are four of them. All right, then 
we salvage zippers like this and the zippers work just fine. What I'm going to do with these zippers is to take them and wash them in a sink with dishwashing soap and then put some wax and put on the teeth here and that'll help them run smoother and better. Now we got one particularly long zipper. This one was the one that went around the door. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to quit. Well, what am I going to use this for? I have an old Eddie Bauer sleeping bag. And the zipper doesn't function on it anymore. This will replace it once I wash it up. What else did we salvage? We salvaged the smaller shooting window. And if I do another blind, and I may well uh, this summer, uh, then this window can be used. It also has a nice mosquito mesh on it. Hmm. No reason to throw this away. And the mesh is velcroed in so you can take it down when you want to shoot. A good, good system, and everything about it works. And we got two of them here, and one of them here, which I'm about to cut out, as well as another zipper. Now, so far as a future use, what my plans are is to actually make a stick built blind. And I'm going to cut some one by of pressure treated material or good rock resistant wood, one of the two, make a tent frame and use these spring components on the inside to keep and put a nice bow in the roof. Hmm. They will do very well for that. So I'll have sort of a barrel shaped roof in my blind when I put it together. And what I'll probably use for cloth is a canvas drop cloth and waterproof it with silicone and then paint it. So it will be fairly stiff uh, by the time I get through with it. So uh, this is what you can do if you happen to own one of these things that has finally failed or you decide you really can't live with that color anymore. For now, this is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time.